Harrisburg City officials telling dozens of people living in a homeless encampment to move out. The decision comes after dozens of rats were found in the area, along with a spike in violent crime. Fox 43's Alyssa Kratz has more on the message from Harrisburg leaders and the pushback from some members of the community. This is all they have and all they have they're taking away from them. Nobody wants to do this, but it has to be done for the safety of everyone involved. Emotions running high as the city of Harrisburg is kicking out folks living in this encampment under the Mulberry Street Bridge. That is a heavy, heavy burden that we have to adhere to. So how do we humanely balance that? And that's where we determined a week's notice is a fair time. The more than 50 people and all their belongings must be gone by Thursday, January 19th. The decision comes after dozens of large rats were found in the area. Some of our workers were nearly bit, and if our workers are almost getting bit, our thoughts immediately went to the well-being of the people who live there. The city's public works team found the rats about two weeks ago. When it became a safety hazard for the workers, they had to stop picking up the trash. They put out these two dumpsters here, but as you can see, they're not really being used. Authorities say there's also been a spike in violent crime. Drug usage and overdoses sex workers, rapes, stabbings, and shootings. The city is pointing folks to a few overnight winter shelters, but advocates say that doesn't solve the issue. There's people that are not good candidates for the shelters, and I feel like it's gonna just move people to other locations within the city. There are rats. Um, some tents are worse than others. They, they're worse in other places. But I think that if they gave them a chance to clean this up and get it right, that a lot of it you know, could stop. The city plans to do a full cleanup of the area after all the people leave and no one will be allowed back after. It is a very dangerous and hazardous situation that must be taken care of because it's only going to get worse. The mayor's office says it's also working on more long term solutions to help these folks find more permanent housing. Alyssa Kratz, Fox 43 News.